Hello everybody and welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2008 drama with a little hint of comedy, Softness of Bodies, a film that is written and directed by Jordan Blady and it stars Dasha Nekrasova, and I hope I've said that right, Morgan Krantz, Nadine Dubois and Lena Reinhold. Now this is a film that follows um, a troubled young lady called um, Charlotte who is a poet by night um, and she goes on stage and reads out her poems for a captive audience um, and during the day a bit of a kleptomaniac uh, as she lo loves nothing more than shoplifting um, for things that she can't afford. Um, she seems to have taken a vacation from her morals as she likes to, you know, smoke, drink, take drugs and even um, sleep with um, men in relationships and this one man in particular. Um, however, on her journey she meets up with an ex-boyfriend from the States who has come out to Germany um, and he's a photographer and he, he wants to try very very hard to win her back um, however um, Charlotte isn't really particularly interested um, not just in him but in anything it would seem she's a very very unique character um, to watch with a, a, a wonderful performance um, by Dasha um, about this young lady that seems to not really care about anything um, even her poetry that she you would think she would feel some passion about she doesn't seem to have an awful lot of um, burning desire for that she just seems to maybe have a talent for it um, but it's it's an undeniably slick charming and engaging film this it's got a really beautiful look about it um, with these really wonderfully written characters in it that all feel tangible, all feel relatable in some way, especially if you're a bit younger. Um, I'm 47, so maybe some of the things that we're getting up to, uh, you know, I, I can't really relate to anymore. I'm a married man, I'm settled down. Um, but very, very relatable, I think, certainly in this day and age, for these, for these characters with very little direction in their life um, and not really seemingly having the desire and passion to do an awful lot about it um, and when things do go wrong in their life for example Dasha is um, caught when she's shoplifting and she has to find I think it's 800 euros because they're it's based in Germany um, and she doesn't get it so rather than working hard and getting the money herself she basically begs anybody and everybody to lend her the money so that they can buy her out of trouble because she doesn't seem to have the desire or willingness to do it for herself she expects everybody else to do things for her so in some ways a really really frustrating character to watch but undeniably engaging and charming I mean this um, it's a, it's a very slow paced film but very very engaging to watch because everyone's so well written um, but it, it's, a, it's a slow paced character drama with a wicked streak of dark humour laid throughout this film that you almost feel guilty having a little chuckle at now and again because this feels like people's lives, people's realities, um, living these daily lives, um, you've, you know, and there's this wonderful sarcasm and humour that's sprinkled throughout this film by um, this Charlotte character. Um, uh, she just drops these you know when asked why she shot this she just simply says because I can't afford them <laughs> you know, she, 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 just, she just drops things like that she's just brutally honest about things you know what I mean um, and doesn't seem to care um, about um, who she hurts along the way and some of the some of the interactions she has with her ex-boyfriend um, are pretty brutal really and he's clearly trying I mean you can understand maybe because he does explain that he cheated on her in the film um, with, while he was photographing somebody um, so you can maybe understand but her morals are no better because she's sleeping with um, a guy who's in a, a relationship with another woman so you know her morals are no, no, no re, not really any better as most people's in this film they all seem 
to just be going through life uh, not really following their morals and just kind of bundling their way through life as most people are I would suggest so it feels real it feels tangible it feels um, like what you're watching are real people and real characters and that's a testament to the strength of the writing here and the strong direction too uh, it just feels like you're watching a really strong character drama here um, and it's a, it's, it's a charming watch there's no getting around it if if this isn't your sort of film um, slow paced character dramas you know um, you're not going to like it you know if you're a fan of horrors and things like that but if you want in a change of pace if you're wanting to watch something a little bit more real if you want to watch in a film that's had real effort put into the writing and the way the film looks um, and comes across on screen you're going to be in for a little bit of a treat here um, and a really really unique character um, this poet Charlotte um, I mean really really I really liked her character even though she did frustrate me awfully so I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10 I think it's a it's a charming watch for sure uh, really nicely written really great direction um, and it's if it's your type of film then I would suggest giving it a go so I hope you found my review for softness of bodies useful thank you very much for watching and of course I'll see you back for more reviews on screen stars